When multiplying monomials, you multiply the coefficients, which remember is the number in front, keep the base, and add the exponents. So 3x to the third times 4x squared would be 3 times 4 is 12. Keep my base of x. 3 plus 2 is 5. When dividing, we divide our coefficients. Keep the base and subtract the exponents. So 10x to the 10th over 2x. 10 divided by 2 is 5. x to the 10th minus, sorry, keep the base of x. Now I'm subtracting my exponent. This is an x to the 1. So 10 minus 1 is 9. When raising monomials to a power, you raise the coefficient. To the power, keep the base, and multiply the exponents. So 2x to the third to the fifth, 2 to the fifth power is 32. x to the third to the fifth power, I keep my base, 3 times 5, 15. When raising a base to a negative exponent, form the reciprocal and make the exponent negative. Anything to the zero power is always 1. So the other exponent rule that isn't here is a fractional exponent. So if I have something like x to the a over b, that's the b root of x to the a. It's power over root. Simplify with positive exponents only. So we're going to work with one thing at a time. I'm first going to work with this piece here. So negative 3 squared is a positive 9. x squared squared is x to the fourth. And I have my next piece. 2 to the third is 8. x stays negative 2 times 3, because power to power is to multiply, is x to the negative 6. Now I have a multiplying situation. 9 times 8 is 72. x to the 4th times x to the negative 6. The x stays. 4 plus negative 6 is negative 2. And if I want negative exponents to go away and positive exponents only, this becomes 72 over x squared. I keep my 72 because that is not being raised to a negative. Only the x piece is moved. Example two, simplify and write your answer without a denominator. So that means without a denominator, negative exponents are allowed. So I'm going to start by dividing my coefficients. 16 divided by 4 is 4. Each variable gets worked with separately. So 3 minus negative 6, remember that minus a negative is really like a positive. So this becomes x to the ninth. And then y, negative 5 minus 8 is negative 13, and it can stay just like that. If it specified that it wanted positive exponents only, it would be 4x to the 9th over y to the 13th. But it said without a denominator, so that means negative exponents are allowed, and it should look just like that.